everyone. Thanks again for tuning in. This is Anthony Maslow of The Boy Who Cried Flowers. Today we've got something different in store for you. Opposed to a large installation, we're gonna be doing a bedside arrangement. Cute, small, but very cool. Before we get started, I wanna thank my team again from the bottom of my heart. I really couldn't do this without you guys. I wanna thank Maya for supplying all the blooms today. And I wanna thank you for viewing. Don't forget to subscribe and like. So for this bedside arrangement, some of the tools we'll be using today is a floral knife, a Lazy Susan propped up for height, as well as a beautiful, gorgeous vase taped off with some Oasis vase tape. I want this arrangement to sit about three times the size of the vessel it's in. This way, we have the perfect balance of shape between the floral arrangement and the vessel. Working in threes, I'm just adding in some carnations here, creating a little bit of a shapely build out. I'm gonna go in on the other side, start adding some of these lighter carnations to give it a little bit of an ombre effect. Again, not focusing on that ombre too much, but I do wanna introduce some color movement. As I'm cutting my stems, I'm making sure that I'm cutting at a clean 45 degree angle. What that does is that allows as much drinking surface for the stem to stay properly hydrated throughout the week. I'm also gonna add some white ranunculus in here. Fill out this base. Also bringing a little more ruffly texture in here. I'm adding in some tulips that also share this color palette, but that introduce some more fascinating colors, like this pink stripe down the center of the tulip's petal. It's just such a cool way to bring in a new shade. I know you guys see me typically working on installations and large scale arrangements, but I really wanted to bring it back down for you guys. And you know, as a florist, we have the opportunity to create magic in so many ways. And I think something that's so touching to people are small arrangements received. I'm gonna add some white sweet pea in here. Bring in another extra element. Have that just dancing throughout. You guys will hear me mention dancing a lot. I love my flowers to dance. Give me a little show. Got some allium here. At this point, I'm going to go in and tuck some lower mini daffodils in just to break up some of that yellow. And then the piece de resistance, flannel flower. This is one of the best flowers out there. It's just so cool, so delicate. And I'm going to have these guys just sitting throughout this arrangement, poking out here and there, bringing your eye to new places. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Special thanks again to my team and Mayesh. I really wanted to do something a little more everyday for you guys, opposed to a large scale installation. I think as florists, we forget that the everyday bouquet still matters. Sometimes when we see Instagram and large scale things. So I wanted to do something to showcase that. And how fun is this? We'd love to hear some things that you'd like to see from us in the future. Our team is working really hard to create magic for you guys, so thank you for viewing and thanks for leaving any feedback you have for us. Have a good one.